It's the NFL on EA Sports, and the wait is over for this rivalry game. It's the Cowboys and the Giants on Sunday night. From the stadium that hosted Super Bowl 48 back in 2014, there's a look at MetLife Stadium here in East Rutherford. Tonight, it's the Sunday night opener of the 2023 NFL season, as it'll be the Dallas Cowboys taking on the New York Giants. Now a man who's taken the reins with the Cowboys, it's Tony Pollard, and he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. 14 yards, good for a Cowboy first down. Coming in. Play fake. Here's Prescott. Able to hit his target, Lamb. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the four. They'll run for it with Pollard. Oh, and that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. The conversion is successful with a size of... They'll try and run for it. And this is going to be nowhere close. Needed some inches and ended up losing yardage. Mike McCarthy took the gamble, didn't pay off. And this 11-play drive is going to lead to nothing on the scoreboard. Well, their first fourth down attempt earlier was successful. This one backfires for a turnover on downs. I like their aggressiveness. I like what they're doing. They play of the drive. It's third and seven. Looking to throw. Jones. And he can't escape, and down he goes. Multiple defenders getting to him there for a huge loss. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually... Right, Charles. One is the option to fair catch a kickoff and have it come out to the 25 like it does in college. You like that? I don't. I don't like it at all. I don't like it in college. I don't like it in the NFL. I want to have something different. And I really... First drive, really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? And he's seeing things before they even open and hurtling through them. And a half on is the field goal unit. From the left hash, a 31-yard attempt. And his kick here is good. And that will do it for this first half. So we've reached halftime here in our initial Sunday night telecast of the new season. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. The defense right now with the running game and truly establishing themselves here in the second half. Room here to run. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. First and 10. Play action now. Prescott. Swinging this out for Pollard. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. Looking to throw. Prescott. A short one there, taken in by Ferguson. He's got room to roam. And finally down at the 9-yard line. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here. They'll run it with Jones. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. Ronald Jones punching it in from a yard away. And the Cowboys take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Well, this defense held out as long as they could, but ultimately the running... Cradling it comes together with the legs. In this case, the feet did a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. That call because that's exactly what I was thinking. Wide open in the flat. Give him a ball that he can use to get up field with, not just catch and go over the sideline. They cost themselves some yardage there. Got a man and he hits him in stride. Touchdown! Saquon Barkley. 26 yards. And the Giants have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the... On play action, Prescott. He finds his man complete. That's Ferguson. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. 
had to wait for his crossing route to develop. And that takes a little bit of extra time. Excellent job by the big fellas up front. And that one opened up for him well as he'll take this down to the 26-yard line. 91. And all you're doing when you're talking to your defensive teammates is first guy there, hold him up. Second, third guy in, break it the football. Get it out. We've got to create a turnover because one more end is not short enough that it's a no-brainer and you go for it. You have to analyze this one. To me, you take the field goal, take the point. I don't think you want to risk coming away with nothing. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent. Should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Gets this to Waller. Finding space at the 30. And he's going to get out of bounds. To throw is Jones. And this will be caught. It's Isaiah Hodgins. Making the plays necessary and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. Trying. Now Jones. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. Picked up by Leighton Vander Esch. And the Cowboys have just about sewn up this football game. So a good drive with a bad ending, Charles. They move it down the field well. Cannot finish it off, though, as it's intercepted in the end zone. Deflating, that has got to be the word here. Because the partner that I do, these weak run prime time games they always seem to have a little bit more electricity, a little more anticipation, a fun one tonight, and, and a lot of fun ones that we have on the road ahead. And partner, I love the word you just use there, electricity. Things were crackling out there, weren't they? And let's face it. It's Madden NFL 24, and it's brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Jets and the Cowboys coming up next. Sunshine and pleasant temps have led to a wide open roof here this afternoon at AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. Today, after a topsy-turvy opening weekend, it's on to week two, and we've got a good one here, as it'll be the New York Jets taking on the Dallas Cowboys. Hello again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gordon, joined as always by Charles Davis. And Charles, you take a look at this Cowboy team entering play. They come in off a good win on the road, and now they hit the home opener at 1-0. On play action, Prescott. He finds his man complete. It's Ferguson. 16 yards on the game's first play and a quick first down. Him, he's like a wide receiver to me, Brandon. He has a great sense of space and understanding where defenders are. Yeah, we talk all the time, Charles, and it kind of gets cliche about the hands that he has, but really it's the truth. They're looking for a tight end, some of the best hands in the game. So now on fourth down, Mike McCarthy will turn to his field goal unit. From the right hash, it's a 35-yard attempt. And his kick is good. And the Cowboys are going to jump out to a 3-0 lead. So the opening drive stations very high for the future star here in year two. Meanwhile, Rodgers' throw going to be caught by Davis. 17 yards for the Jets there as they've got themselves a first down. A big part of their passing game, and he gets them a first down here. On first and 10, it's Hall. Dancing down the middle. There he goes. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. But hopefully, obviously, nothing serious. Now Rodgers on the bootleg. He's got Wilson, and that's a Jets touchdown. A great play there. His first touchdown of the new season. And the Jets are able to answer the early three points and take a first quarter lead. Well, that's about as quick of a passing touchdown as you'll ever see right there. Everyone has a section. Rodgers going to throw. Puts it on the carpet. It's out. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And his guy first and ten. On their side of midfield at the 47. They'll roll him out right. That is caught by Lynn. A really nice gain of 25 yards. They'll run the end around. This is Cooks. And a hard working run here as he's got it inside. 
inside the 20, down to the 17. Here's Prescott. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Not here as they try again on third and goal. Flush to his right. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Rodgers now to throw. And he completes it to Wilson. 19 yards there on the catch and run. You give him another shot here in the first half. If you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely touchdown. Tyler Conklin from 13 yards out. And the Jets will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half of this first half. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Jets on top. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. Rodgers to throw once more. Let's go! Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And the Cowboys are going to take over a couple of yards shy of midfield. That is a tough way to start the third quarter. You get the football open on third down, it's Prescott. He'll be taken down. The Jets get in there for the sack. To throw, it's Rodgers. <laughs> rifles one, that's going to be intercepted. Oh, Picked up by Leighton Vanderbilt. Oh, he takes oh, this one back. Oh, Here's the end zone. Defense has a touchdown. So this whole game gets flipped on its ear right there. The interception returned for a touchdown, and this lead changes hands here in the third quarter. And it certainly felt like this defense had a read on what was going on on the goal here, third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Play action. Now it's Rodgers. No! He has a man. It's complete to Wilson. Oh, Touchdown, oh, Jets. Garrett Wilson. Darn it, with boy. two touchdowns on the season. Both in this game. game. And the What's Jets up? have taken a fourth quarter lead. I know we often laugh, and sometimes we even exalt the guys who are great trash talkers and give us some really funny lines. But the bottom line is absolute pretend. Off the play fake. Prescott. Looking for Clarkson, it's intercepted. Picked up by Jordan Whitehead. And to the 40-yard line, that's where the return stops. Those five DBs out there, you want extra speed on the field? Guys who have ball skills and understand what the passing game can do? It gives them a chance. That all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Four touchdown passes now for Aaron Rodgers. And the Jets will add to their fourth quarter lead. You know those guys watched him all week. Saw how precise oh, he was. Oh, thank God, Gallup. <laughs> what a catch. Oh, oh, what a catch, Gallup. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What a freaking catch. Here's first and ten. They'll throw again. Prescott. His throw incomplete. And now a first chance for the backup here to throw. And this is intercepted. Oh, and that Ivan should do Jesus. it. Sauce Gardner picks it off. Still going inside the 20. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six and a jet touchdown. Third, albeit not by much, on third and a yard. And this will be caught at the 30. Down the right sideline. Touchdown, Cowboys. Brandon Cooks. Minute drill. Excellent coverage right there to force the incompletion. He's got his man. Oh, let's go, Marcus. Let's go. Come on, baby. Come on. Here's first and 10. Now Prescott. Here's a screen now for Pollard. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Need two scores? I would be thinking about if I were on that sideline. Get the field goal now, try and get the touchdown later. Escaping the pressure right. Open man lamb. It's complete. Oh, no. 
<laughs> well, this was a very close ball game at halftime, Charles, but in the second half, that offense kind of kicked things into another gear, and they were able to pull away for the victory. And Brandon, I think they're the type of team that just looked in the mirror and said, hey, ton of pressure on, but we're the type of team that can flat out handle it. They stood up, stood up with confidence, and made it happen for a victory. It's week three of the NFL, and if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Cowboys and the Cardinals, and it's all up next on EA Sports. We find ourselves at the home of the world's first retractable natural grass field as you get a look inside State Farm Stadium in Glendale. Today it's week three, and we've got a good one in store. As it will be the Dallas Cowboys taking on the Arizona Cardinals. And they told us that they had worked hard on it in practice and thought they had it all. There he goes, right side. Room to maneuver at the 35. Down the right sideline. Touchdown, Cowboys. Tony Pollard, his first touchdown of the new season. Just settle in, get calm before you go for the big strikes. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. And this intercepted on the first play of the game. And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. Definitely settling in now and letting it be known the points won't come so easy again. They'll run for it with Pollard. That's a good acceleration there as he's across midfield to the 48-yard line. Crosses my mind. It certainly beats the alternative of starting 0-2. I do think that this is a team that's going to take a little time to find its footing. Hard to navigate the always tough NFL. Yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Force a throw, and in the end, got to show off his athleticism with a nice game to bring up a new set of downs. It's caught left side by Cooks. Touchdown, Cowboys! Brandon Cooks. It's in a big way with his legs. Murray now on first down. Zach Ertz has it complete. That one goes for 24 yards. Now Murray. And it's caught. Touchdown, Cardinals. Zach Ertz from four yards out. Now Prescott. Left side to Lowell. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down because by the time he was able to secure it, not much of a chance to turn it upfield. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals 35. With two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. And his kick here is good. And that will do it for this first half. So we reach halftime here in a 10-point game. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando. Nothing going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly Ezekiel Elliott going to take it the distance. Now he's loose at the 40, inside the 20. And he'll be forced out of bounds all the way down inside the 20. 89 yards. Prater's kick is good. And they're back with it a touchdown. First and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Quick throw, and it's caught by Gallup. There he goes, left side. Now he's loose at the 40, and down to the 27-yard line. A big play there on the catch and run. 48 yards. You know how elusive he can be trying to get outside of the pocket. That was a great play on the defensive side. Now, I wonder what was going through his mind because he didn't seem as committed to using his legs to pick up yardage. He wanted to keep that play alive to either take off and go or throw it away. But he held on to the football. And it is the spot. Glad to have you along for the ride. Third quarter action and a second and ten upcoming. Meanwhile, Murray's throw complete there to Moore. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 36. First down, Murray. Wide open receiver complete. A good pick up there at 20 yards. To throw, it's Murray. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. 
Throwing again, Murray. That's to McBride, and he has it. Touchdown, Cardinals. A five-yard touchdown catch, and the Cardinals have made it a one-score game again. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. 102 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. That part might know this type of running back. Oh, but you and I both know he's going to be a little upset he didn't cross the goal line. And he's got his man. It's caught the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Zach Ertz with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. Elves late as they come up on first down. Now Prescott. And he is caught by Lamb. Now he's loose at the 40. Inside the 20. Oh. Here we go. First and goal. On the sneak, it's Prescott. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late. In the final minute of the fourth. Gets him to the 42. Back to throw. Murray. Zach has it complete. And yeah, he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 38-yard line. The man is caught at the six-yard line. And he's across for the touchdown. And it's likely the game winner here in the closing stages. Charles, that drive was perfect. Methodical, executed so well, and they grabbed that lead with almost no time left for a last gas from the other side. No way you could have drawn up a better final drive because not only did they keep their eyes on the end zone, but they made sure they bled the clock out as well in his sights, but he did not reel it in. Well, what a thrilling fourth quarter this one was. Well, at least, I guess, if you're cheering for the winning side. An, outsta an outstanding comeback, though, that saw them completely take control and change the outcome of this game. Yeah, I'm not sure how many of us saw that coming, the way that they were playing and having the lead after three quarters. 